Hi, my name's Emma, and I'm a huge book nerd. You're my library, always so business, but you never show it. You're just sitting with it, but I know the score. Today I'm filming a summer reading recommendations video. So these are books that I think are great for summer. I picked six. The first book that I picked is an example of YA that I like to read. I do enjoy YA in the summer for some reason. I think it feels light and fun. It always just reminds me of high school, I don't know. So the book that I picked for YA is Highly Logical Behavior by John Corey Whaley. I don't know what it is about this book, but it's very comforting to me for some reason. This is about a boy who has agoraphobia, so he's afraid to leave his house, and this very problematic girl takes him on as like her project. And I love problematic characters, which is probably why I like this book. I don't know, I don't wanna say too much, you should read it, but just so you know, she's problematic. But I think why I think this is such a great summer read is so much of it takes place in the summer like there's this whole thing about swimming that's really pivotal to the story I definitely really love this one and definitely recommend it for summer another genre of books that I enjoy in the summer is like more you know I don't even know what genre this fits into but a man called Uwe for some reason I think that this is a good summer read I think it's like the hope and the happiness, like a lot of people said they cried really hard reading this book. I didn't cry very much at all. I might have like teared up a little bit, but I don't think I cried. But this is like very full of hope. It is about an old man whose wife has kind of recently died and new neighbors move in next door. And it kind of takes off from there. I'm really excited for the Tom Hanks version of this movie that's coming out. I have not seen the original Swedish version, but I do plan to, and then I'm really excited for the Tom Hanks one because Tom Hanks is one of my favorite people. The next book that I definitely recommend for summer is The Martian by Andy Weir. There's something very summery about a bright orange Mars. Everything just feels hot in this book. I had something about a good summer survival story it really works for me too. I do feel like I don't have to explain what this is about because literally everyone knows, but I do think this is a really fun summer read if you're in the mood for something like this. Next up is Euphoria by Lily King, and this is a book about a group of anthropologists in the 1930s who go to New Guinea and they're researching villages, and it's really about like learning about humanity and like human nature and relationships and morals. It's super interesting and this is probably one of my favorite love triangles in a book because it's not cheesy in any way. This is also inspired by events in the life of revolutionary anthropologist Margaret Mead, so I think it's cool that it's like inspired by a real woman because like... I'm just gonna read the first paragraph for you. As they were leaving the Mumbaino, someone threw something at them. It bobbed a few yards from the stern of the canoe, a pale brown thing. Another dead baby, Fenn said. Like, now you just want to know why that's so normal and, oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's just really great. Super great. Highly recommend. So next we're going to get into the fact that I really enjoy reading thrillers in the summer as well. So I have two that I've chosen to recommend that are pretty different. So the first is The Girls by Emma Klein, and I've heard that a lot of people hate this, which I truly do not understand in any way. This is an amazing book. Um, I think the thing that's so summary is about it is that it's from this young girl's perspective um, and she gets involved with a cult that's like based off of Charles Manson but she is like brainwashed basically so it's all from her sort of like very positive outlook of everything and to her she's having a really fun summer but like things go south I really really love it and I think if you go in expecting it to be like that like this sunny disposition that turns dark then you're gonna like it but if you expect it to be like a dark all the way through thriller then you probably won't like it I don't know there's something like literary fictiony about it the first sentence of this book is one of the best things I looked up because of the laughter and I kept looking because of the girls so cool get it the girls title right there super highly recommend this for the summer I think it's a great summer thriller and the last book that I have to recommend for a summer read is It 
by Stephen King. And I really think this is great for the summer because most of it actually takes place in the summer. Like the whole kids time when they were dealing with Pennywise, that's in the summer. It's, it's like school just got out. When like the thunderstorms and stuff come, then you're like, like I read it for the first time last summer. And if it wasn't such a long book, then I would reread it this summer, but I don't think I'll end up doing that. But it's really, really great. It, it just really is. So I hope that you've enjoyed this short little summer reading recommendations video. If you'd like to see like more summer reading recommendations that are a little more specific, maybe like breaking it up into like YA summer reading recommendations or thriller summer reading recommendations or literary fiction summer reading recommendations, then I would be super happy to, to do some of those videos. Just let me know what you would be most interested in seeing and let me know what you are going to read this summer. So please like and subscribe and leave those comments down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Mwah.